You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Black and White Sports fans, I'm pretty sure you guys know that the Major League Baseball owners have locked out their players. This is the first time this has actually happened in 30 years. However, 30 years ago, the Internet really did not exist on a wide scale like it is today. Now, everybody remembers the 1994 strike. That is the difference right there. The strike was initiated by the players and MLB suffered for that. They went through four years of nobody watching baseball because back then when you canceled the World Series, people and fans were very, very upset with that. It took Sammy Sosa and Mark McGuire in 1998 home run home run race to bring people back. And we know that was the height of the steroid steroid era right there. However, guys, if you actually go over now to MLB's website, it looks vastly, vastly different. Check this out over here on Outkick. MLB removes articles and headshots of current players on website amid lockout. This is absolutely crazy, guys. They even show some um, shots here. Like if you uh, click on a player's name, because the player's names are still there. Actually, let's just go over to the website here. This is what the website looks like. It looks terrible. Nothing about any current players whatsoever. No highlights from the season whatsoever. But they did make a note here about why the website actually looks the way it does. It says here, note about our website content. You may have noticed the content on this site looks a little different from usual. The reason for this is because the collective bargaining agreement between the players and the league expired just before midnight on December 1st. And a new CBA is currently being negotiated between the owners and the MLBPA. Until a new agreement is reached, there will be limitations on the types of content we display. As a result, you will see a lot, lot more content that focuses on the game's rich history. Once a new agreement is reached, the up-to-date minute news and analysis uh, you have come to expect will continue as usual. So that is a message from MLB, because if you look at this, guys. It has CBA updates here, nothing updated on free agency or anything like that, because all of that is at a standstill headlines here. Uh, this one says every player making Hall of Fame ballot debut in 2022. So that's not current players. Each row shows up at high school, blast dingers, uh, Maris up for Hall of Fame consideration. Nothing to do with any current player at all. They have been wiped away from the face of the baseball earth until a new CBA is there. This, this, this website looks absolutely pathetic here. I mean, they put Bob Costas here, not a player. And it does go through uh, the history of the game. You can see here um, White Sox honor Mini Mimosa. Pedro Martinez, 17K strikeout game. This is from, wow, this is from 1999 right here. Don't want to play the video, uh, make it copyright on that. But if you actually do go to the stats here and you can see the players' names here, the stats are still there because the games actually did happen. The stats are still there. But if you click on the player, let's uh, click on uh, Yuli Guriel, who was the AL batting champion. Just so you know, no picture of him. He's a name without a face. This is absolutely pathetic, guys. Absolutely really, really bad here. And if you actually do uh, click on. Uh, let's go to the standings here. Because they still do have um, the MLB standings. Actually, you can click on the Astros here, for example. And. Because, you know, each team has their own website. But check this out. Nothing to do with current players. They mentioned Jeff Bagwell uh, joining joining the 30-30 club back in 1997. That is one of the headlines. Nolan Ryan uh, set strikeout record 1983. 
nothing to do with current players. Now, love Nolan Ryan, love Jeff, Jeff Bagwell, you know, both of them in the Hall of Fame. But uh, their day is long past gone. Nothing on here about any current active player. Nothing at all. I mean, can, can you actually still shop for uh, for merch? Let's see here. If you're a fan and you want to shop for merch, can you actually buy a jersey with the name of a player? Let's see here. All right. You can customize the jersey here. However, it doesn't look like. Well, let's see here. Jose Altuve. OK, so you still can buy uh, merch. Uh, with the player's name. So I was kind of curious about that because I didn't see it featured on the uh, the front page here of the um, of the site. See, all this other stuff here is not. Um, it's not with the player's names on the front page, so you can search by the player. Well, it's way down here with Altuve right here. So maybe MLB made an effort to hide the names of the players even on the merch, but. This site, man, looks horrible. Absolutely horrible, guys. No telling when um, MLB and the players are actually going to come to a new CBA. We will have to see. Could this actually drag on into the regular season? You know, spring training uh, pitchers and catchers are supposed to report in February. It's possible. It really is. But uh, right now, MLB is shut down. Shut down. It's by the owners, not the players. So we'll have to see. We'll keep you guys updated on uh, the negotiations, if anything major actually happens. But as of last night, MLB is at a stand standstill. No free agency, no nothing. But what do you guys think it is? MLB scrubs the faces of players off the website. No current news on the actual game itself. A bunch of old stuff from 20, 30, 40 years ago. Man, this does not look good whatsoever. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure you subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.